Hi everyone, my name is Esteban Ortiz. I'm the PI of the Universidad de las Americas of the One Health Research Group here in Quito, in Ecuador. My project is entitled Abortion, an Increasing Public Health Concern, a 10 years population-based analysis. This project is very important because we are trying to analyze the epidemiology of abortion in Ecuador. Um, even though abortion is penalized by law in 2014, uh, we believe that that is not resulting in less abortions than uh, before. So right now we have uh, very important data regarding abortion in Ecuador and we believe this is the first project published in this area in the last 20 years. Uh, so what we found, we found that abortion is um, highly underclassified. Mostly of the abortions come to Ecuador are classified as uh, unknown cause of abortion instead of intentional or self-induced abortion. That's why we believe that most of the abortion that arrive to the hospital could be caused by self-administration of drugs such as misoprostol uh, or worse, going to uh, clandestine centers to you know, get an abortion. So our data show that the province with the highest rate of abortion per capita is actually one province located in the Amazon jungle. It's called Pastaza. Um, after that is Pichincha, followed by Guayas, Galapagos and Esmeraldas. The mortality rate for abortion in Ecuador reached something around 43 per every 100,000 births, which is something around uh, a little lower than the average in the region. Um, abortion is right now considered a public um, emergency since mostly of the people are young women in the early 20s and the late teens. So, this is causing several problems regarding uh, women's health and we believe that also a banning abortion could affect female rights uh, or women rights for, uh, in order to access to proper health care. Uh, as you can see in our slides, abortion is highly um, prevalent in most of the provinces of Ecuador. The majority of these provinces um, are located in the coast, the, the provinces with the highest rate, and uh, the provinces with the highest mortality actually are the provinces with less access to public health system. Another important data is that public health system hospitals, the hospitals that belong to the public health system, are the ones receiving mostly of the patients. Almost 84% of the patients go to the public system. And that's probably because of the free health care or maybe because the private health care system is not reporting the self-induced or the medical justified abortions. After we complete the data, we also uh, believe that opening new programs and new projects regarding abortion preventions, mainly education regarding abortion, could decrease the rates of abortion in Ecuador. Uh, the economical impact of this mortality, which in the last 10 years from 2004 until 2014, reached almost 200 young female um, dying from abortion in Ecuador and if you put a cost in the years lost in those cases the amount of money spent for the government not only for the mortality but also the morbidity related with hospitalizations and loss of productive day could reach something around 20 million dollars in the last 10 years of data that we have collected. Uh, so that's pretty much our work we invite you to read it and please let us know our information or contact information is below in the paper. Thank you very much.